Either you will manage your culture or it will manage you. That's a striking statement that may sound harsh, but has been proven true for business owners time and time again. Written by two New York Times bestselling authors, Roger Connors and Tom Smith, Change the Culture, Change the Game focuses on the importance of accountability and culture to the success of a company. Connors and Smith draw on their real world experiences, coaching and training various successful companies all across the country, how to manage and change their culture for the better of the people and the company. They highlight the idea that you cannot just simply tell people that you want them to change, but rather you must show them with experiences, which influences their beliefs, which creates their actions that leads to the results that are desired, a change in culture. These thoughts and ideas give business owners and managers a guide to excelling their business by compelling changes in the culture. This book was created to offer value to leaders through detailed explanations and real life examples of organizations that have successfully delivered results through this strategy. We reached out to some industry professionals to give a better idea about how these practices really come into play in the real world. Malone joining me, who is the owner and operator of Indie Lube Express, an automotive shop located in Danville, Indiana, to give us some insight on cultures of an organization. Thank you for joining me, uh, Jeff. One question I had for you was, how important has accountability been to creating desired results through the culture of your company? Hold them accountable. They're going to show more pride in what they're doing. Thus, your customer satisfaction is going to rise. How have uh, you changed the culture from when you bought the corporation in 2012? Well, basically, by, by example, Prove that the customer comes first. You have to have empathy for a customer if they've got a problem. Hold your employees accountable. And you do that. You have a better product. You have a better product. You have happier customers. And overall, the customers are more proud of where they work and what they do. And, you know, sales will follow. Hello, today I am here with Jason Bain, the president of Bain Walker Equipment, a Case IH agricultural uh, dealership here in Indiana and Ohio. How have you had to work to change the culture of Bain Walker um, since merging as Bain Equipment and North Central AgriPower, but even now with these new stores that you're um, working in and integrating into the company? Well, I, you know, I, I would say that probably when Bain Equipment and North Central AgriPower merged, we probably waited too long, uh, in all honesty, and we've learned from that, that we should have been on the ground, um, working with one another, getting to know one another, building relationships with one another. And I guess what I've learned is you have, you have to have a plan going into it, for, and you have to spend time with them. You have to have an onboarding process. Um, and you have to, uh, like I said earlier, you have to show some compassion and grace. As change is hard, um, and I, I would, I would say change in, in the agricultural community uh, is as stubborn as any business that you'll ever find. So you just have to be very patient with it. Throughout our experiences in the past four years at Purdue, we have learned that actions are the starting point for any group to change an unsuccessful culture. Connors and Smith emphasize throughout this book how desired results in cultural change are derived from accountability. The culture that is taught to us while attending Purdue relates perfectly with the strategy the authors explain in this book. Our professors and advisors have made it known from the beginning in order to be successful at this university, we must create a normality of a determined, accountable culture. Change the culture, change the game shows us that people within an organization are the most valuable asset to creating a progressive strategy. By analyzing the problems seen before adopting the results pyramid, the authors showed that historically failing companies are lacking in focus on the importance of their people, creating a negative culture. Overall, this book shows that to create and sustain a strategic competitive advantage, you must create a culture of accountability for results. By continuously focusing on the people within the organization, it is possible to create an everlasting culture that will shape a sustainable, strategic, competitive advantage.